guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a how I edit my Instagram pictures. I've had this requested a few times by a few different people and I want to do it because I finally got my Instagram kind of down pat. I have a theme going on a little bit and I kind of realized that um, just doing random pictures with random edits to put on my Instagram was just not cutting it. So I, you know, got it all together and now I know how to edit my pictures and I have a certain way that I do it every time. So if you want to know how to get Instagram pictures that kind of look like mine, I'll put my Instagram like right here. And I never plug my social media because it's kind of corny, but I'm going to plug my Instagram in this video because it is about Instagram. So if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my username is just Tara Hodge and that's pretty much it. So let's get into how I edit my Instagram pictures. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is what I do to prepare to take my Instagram photos. So basically you're going to want a theme for your Instagram and to have a theme you're going to need a color scheme. My color scheme is light pink, light blues, whites, stuff like that. You wouldn't want to wear something that's like the color of my shirt if your theme is, you know, whites and pinks and blues. You're going to want to wear the colors that are in your theme or white or just anything that will blend well in your theme. The next thing is a location. So I usually just take mine wherever I find a cute place. Like if I'm out and I, you know, I'm wearing something that's my color scheme and I find a cute white wall or I find a cute bench or a cute sign, just whatever, I usually take them candidly. I usually don't go for like a photo shoot. I do that sometimes, but most of the time I just take Instagram pictures from the days where I'm just doing whatever and I find a cute spot and I'm wearing a cute outfit and that's just usually how I take them. Sometimes though I do plan a photo shoot day where I go to a certain location that I know is going to have cute color schemes and cute you know textured walls and stuff like that to where I have like backdrops and I'm wearing a outfit that I know for sure will go good with my Instagram theme and then I take a lot of photos so for example I knew I was going to a concert that was gonna have like some props that I could use like um, drinks and popcorn and stuff like that so I wore a pastel pink dress to make sure it would go with my theme and I took a lot of photos there to make sure that I had plenty to you know choose from so the next thing is props. You're definitely gonna need props for your photos. You don't have to have props, but it does help the photo. Like if you have ice cream or a snow cone or just anything, you know, prop wise, a lot of people use like fruits for the summer and ice creams and stuff. And for the fall, they would hold pumpkins or just stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like. It's just gonna add a lot to your photo if you're holding something and also I have a hard time knowing what to do with my hands in photos. So if you're holding something, you have something to do and it'll just make you look a little less awkward. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is cameras. You're gonna need a camera to obviously shoot the photos and I use two different cameras. I use my DSLR camera, which is the Canon 80D and I also use my phone, which is the iPhone 10s. And I honestly like using my phone a lot better for Instagram photos because I always have it with me. The only time I ever use my DSLR camera is if I'm shooting a video already and I just have it with me, so I might as well use the DSLR. But all you need is your phone. That's really all you need. That's all I usually use and it turns out really nice. And iPhones have really good quality. I don't know about Androids because I've never had one. Okay, so first I'm going to show you all the apps that I use, and then we'll get into how I edit my photos from start to finish. So the first app I use is Facetune, and I normally use this to um, smooth my skin, whiten backgrounds, and make things more colorful by using the features that I'll show you right now. So this background, as you see in this picture, it is beige, and my feed is not beige. It has, like, white in it. So I would usually go to retouch and whiten and then whiten it, and it doesn't make it, like, pure white, but it makes it a lot better. I'd rather have this, like grayish white color than the dark beige in the photo so I use that. So the three features of this app that I try to stay away from is the healing feature, concealing feature, and the reshaping feature. I try not to use any of the like concealing or healing features on it just because I don't like to be super super like fake over Instagram or whatever and I do not use any of the like reshaping of anything because I feel like that's very very like fakey kind of you know like I don't reshape any of my body on anything or my face because I don't know. I like the way I look and I don't want to change it. God made me this way for a reason and I don't want to change it up too, too much. The next feature that I use on Facetune is the Vibrance feature and I love this feature. Honestly, I don't think it makes anything look fake. I think it puts the color back into it. Somehow when you take a picture, it just doesn't look the way it looks in your eyes. Like if I look at something, I'm like, wow, that's so pretty. And then I take a picture and it's like not as pretty. So I basically just like put the color back into it and that's it. So I'll show you how I do that. Like if I want this to be more colored, like this frap, I'll just like put the color back into it. And honestly, that's what that frap probably looks like in real life. So it doesn't look super fake. It just looks better. It's just basically color correcting. And that's what I use that for. The next time I use it, Insta size. I'm not even going to click in it because I don't really use it anymore. The only thing I use it for is like collages. If I want to do like a side by side comparison of two photos then I do it in that app. And then photo splitter. I don't use this for my Instagram feed, but I do use it for like a business Instagram feed that I run on the side. And it basically just does like 
if you want three photos, like I'll do it on one of my photos, but you have to, have, okay, we'll do it on this photo. So basically if you want like a three thing like that, then you hit next and you can post the three separate photos and then you'll have like a line of that photo. I'm probably explaining this really wrong, but you probably know what I'm talking about. It's three separate photos, but it makes one photo on your Instagram. That's what that's for. It was like $1.99 or something, but I don't use it on my feed. I use it on like a business feed. So the next two apps are Pic Gizmo and RFV. These are just like flipping pictures and you could probably do this on something else. I don't know, but I used to have a feed going on on my spam page where I had one flipped photo and then the opposite of the flip photo and then a middle photo. I'm not probably explaining this well, let me go show you. Okay, so this is what I mean by having a feed that like matches on the sides. You see how like there's two photos that are the same exact photo on the sides, but one of them is flipped and then there's like a middle photo. So I did this for a really long time on my Instagram and I don't know why, but I did it on my spam page. So that's what I use those for. I don't really use those apps anymore unless I really want a photo flipped. So the next app is Color Tone, and I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for VSCO or Visco, and I don't know that for sure because I've never had those apps or that app before, so I'm not really sure, don't clock me. But basically on this app, you can put a filter on a photo, edit the brightness, saturation, all that stuff, and then save the preset to where you don't have to re-edit the photos the same way and try to duplicate it. You can just hit preset and then it will re-edit the photo for you. And I'll show you that in a minute because it probably didn't make any sense but when we get to the editing the photo I'll show you what I mean so this next app is a lifesaver it is called preview I'm pretty sure there's an app that a lot of youtubers and Instagrammers use that is not for free and I found one that does the same thing that's for free so get this one if you don't want to have to pay money for it and basically it's just to set up your Instagram feed and look at it before you upload photos and you can like switch these photos around to see which one looks better and that's basically all the app is for. So the next app is called QuickShot. I only use this for the sky feature and I don't use it all the time because sometimes the skies look really fake but some of the skies look really like natural and stuff on here. So like that one looks fine, that one looks fine, that one looks fine and then you get like over here and you can even see like the blue like outline on my face so it doesn't look cool it doesn't look real at all but that's the only thing i use on that app is the sky feature so the next app is called unfold and it is for insta stories only it's not for your feed i mean i guess you could use it for feed but it's specifically like the dimensions of your story basically i'm just gonna create one real quick that's called test and you have the choice between all of these little like things down here i'm gonna just choose like this one real quick and you can change the background color to match whatever the photo is. I'm probably going to choose like this one. And then you just add photos to it and they're just perfectly like sized for your Instagram story and that's all it's used for. Okay, so I'm going to be editing this picture right here and this is one that I've already posted on my Instagram but I'm just going to, you know, re-edit it for the purpose of this video. So first I'm going to go to retouch and do smooth. This one is pretty far away so you can't really see much anyways but I like to smooth out like my underarms and just whatever I have on my face. I just like to smooth it out a little bit and then that's pretty much all I do for this picture because it's not close up so I don't have as much work to do. So then I go up here and I save that to my camera roll. So then I go to the app color tone and this is where I pick up my filter and I do like my, you know, saturation, brightness, all that adjusting that I do to my pictures. You import the picture and then you hit it and then you hit edit. And depending on what lighting you shot the picture in, you might want a different filter. You can't just use like the same exact filter for your whole feed. I mean, you could, but some filters make you look more washed out if you shot a picture in light and then others, you know what I mean? You have to pick and choose. But you go here to this little like rainbow square looking thing and you just go through all of these filters and you just see which one you like best. A lot of them are locked. I don't use the locked ones just because I'm not paying the money for them and I like the ones that are just free on the app. But you could totally buy a filter if you really like it. And I just go through all of these filters and I choose the one that I like the best. Um, I will show you my favorite filters on the app that I like use the most. I use Pop. Baywatch, Newport and Doom. I love the Doom one. And I use Bonnie a lot. So for this photo, I chose Linen because I think it just makes the background look the best. And then I go over to this and I adjust the brightness and the saturation, just whatever I like, I just adjust and make myself look a little tanner or whatever with the brightness and saturation. And then I use the vibrance, exposure, like all these. And then what I love about this app is if I have other photos uh, in the same pose and the same you know outfit and stuff, like the same picture but a different pose, I use the preset feature. So you go over here to the last little option and you hit save. And then you name your presets. I'm just gonna name this one flower or something. So then I go down here and I hit this photo, which is the same photo but a different pose. You hit edit, you go down to your presets, you hit flower, 
and then it edits the picture for you, which is insane, super cool. So this saves me a bunch of time on my Instagram in particular because on my Instagram, the rows are the same photo but different poses on each, I'll show you. So like, you can see right here, there's like the same photo on each row, but like there's like different ones. I even use the flip a little bit on my feed on this one, just like I did my spam page. And that's just how my feed looks right now. All right guys, that is how I edit my Instagram pictures. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And hopefully you will implement some of these tips and tricks into your everyday editing life. So yeah, I think that's about it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. I'm doing just fine. If they need me, I'll be underneath the farm.